Nope, I'm not crying. Even though since I uploaded my last video here on YouTube, I've, I've kind of had reasons to cry. Like, I've felt like crying. And that's because of uh, pressure coming from expectations from family. And pressures birthed by me doubting my own dreams and visions and goals. Pressure is also stemming from me dealing with um, trying to earn, right? Trying to understand myself more and find a way to sustain myself around it financially. Because, you know, doing something to earn money is quite very important, right? Especially the fact that I'm presently in a stage where I want to change my field of career from what I studied in school or what I'm still studying in school into another field entirely. And I'm at a point where my family is making me realize that I'm now a grown-up adult and letting me understand that I have to take responsibilities for my own life. You know, and that's just so beautiful and kind of overwhelming at the same time, you know, thinking about it. So I've been battling with all of these thoughts and emotions and all of that. And scripting a video has, has been quite off in a way because the more I script, the more I try to film, the more it feels like it doesn't make sense. Right? And that's been my story even till now and all of that. But today I just decided to, you know, share with you guys something that has really been ringing in my head. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, you know, just putting myself, you know, trying to weigh um, the responsibilities ahead of me, right, as a younger adult, first child in a Nigerian family. It's crazy. And realizing that I'm still at a stage where I am discovering myself, even though I have something that I'm so passionate about or things that I'm so passionate about. I just believe that there is just somebody somewhere that would listen to this somehow, somewhere, sometime that would need this. And that's the fact that I keep telling myself that my life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So trying to come up with amazing script, amazing footage or camera angles and it has not been coming out as I would like it to. Or the fact that I'm just in a stage where I am trying to sustain myself financially, trying to passionately and zealously push my dream and my vision. You know, I'm also at the stage where I'm learning more about myself, discovering myself. As much as I'm doing all of that, and it seems like it all doesn't make sense. I'm telling myself that something, your life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And what that means basically, right, to me and what I'm trying to pass across to you is that our life's journey is quite long, right? It's, it's, it's a long distance in me. And because I don't have it all figured out or because it seems like it all just does not really make sense as much as I would want it to, right? That doesn't mean that it would not make sense even tomorrow or even next month or two months to come or a year to come. You know? That doesn't mean that I would be stuck forever, right? You know, the fact that I'm seeing maybe a friend of mine or somebody very dear to me doing well or thriving, or making waves and I am in a place where I am still harnessing myself, discovering myself, finding myself, you know, pushing my dreams, understanding myself and all of that. That doesn't mean that I also would not get to a point where I would thrive, right? And this past two weeks has been teaching me to be more patient in my life's journey, to be more committed to my process you know, to be much more present and um, trust in the moment that I am in because I'm learning to believe that that is what matters the most, right? Immersing myself in the present moment, um, thanking myself for my growth so far and how far I've come and how well I am doing, even though it doesn't seem like it's it's good enough even though it doesn't seem like it's it's um, accepted as i would want it to right i'm learning that the process matters 
this journey that I'm in, it really do matter. And that my life's journey is quite different from that of every other person in my life. Right? The journey of my life is different from that of my loved ones, my friends, you know, my family, people that I admire, people that I wish to be like. You know. Our journey is different, right? And that's what has been keeping me at this stage of at, at this state of you know peace and sanity over the past two weeks, you know, understanding that my life is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And the reason why I'm saying that, the reason why I'm believing that, holding on to that, is that if we can see our life much more as a long distance thing, then we can become less pressurized and less anxious. Because I understand that in 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 our life's journey, no matter where we are, no matter where we get to, there will always be somebody that we wish to be like. There will always be somebody that we are looking forward to that we are just like ah this person has it all figured out and i don't right no matter the subscribers or followers or clarity as it were that we harness there will always be this human side of us that is wanting us to be more or wanting us to want to achieve more or just telling us that we're not doing enough that we need to try better that we need to run better but even only we can realize that our life is long, right? It's a long distance thing. Then we can be less pressurized and less anxious. Because that would make us realize that the fact that things is not clear as it were today doesn't mean that it will not be clear tomorrow, right? The fact that a friend of ours maybe has a car and we don't have it yet, or a friend of ours, you know, is thriving in their creative endeavor and we are not thriving yet I mean, that doesn't mean that we also do not right and yeah basically that's just what has been in my mind you know, just that i've been wanting to pour out i just share with you i just in a way let you know what has been going on in my head and all of that and hopefully this makes sense to you if it makes sense if it was helpful please let me know in the comment section because i would really 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 in my head it's just like i've just been pulling words together and i'm just jamming words together but i want to believe that this has been helpful and so this is also to inform you that i'm building this inner circle of individuals learning to prioritize their peace and sanity in their life's journey and if you would love to join i will drop the link in the description box below and hopefully you'll be joining us and basically what happened in there is that we have conversations you know in the conversations it's on telegram so we had our first voice chat yesterday and we'll be doing that often you'll be having access to ask me questions things that just are not clear about maybe about my content about my life maybe something going on in your own life's journey and you just want somebody to just share something with you and in that inner circle, you get to have first time information about the project I'm working on, the content I'm putting out, the platforms I am on, and also discounts and bonuses on services and products that I am working on. And yeah, if you're interested in all of that, maybe you're a creative or younger adult, or you're just interested in all this my rambling and ranting and all of that, then you should join the inner circle. The link will be in the description box. And Hopefully, I will see you soon. And please don't forget to subscribe. That's, that's, that's like very important. If you watch to this point, it means that somehow, maybe something in my face, or maybe the way I'm talking, maybe something just resonates with you, just connect with you. It will just be amazing for you to subscribe. Man. Yeah. Don't forget that in this fast space, comparison between an anxiety field one, it is possible to stay peaceful and sane only choose to and yeah i look forward to seeing you soon love you guys and stay peaceful